Hey guys, it's Charmise Idris and today we're making oatmeal and honey bath bombs. So for this recipe we'll need one cup of baking soda, a half a cup of Epsom salt, a half a cup of citric acid, a half a cup of cornstarch, and two tablespoons of colloidal oats, but you can also call them oat flour or bath oats. You also need a few uh, like regular oats just to sprinkle on top. And if you don't have colloidal oatmeal, then you can grind up regular oatmeal as well. For the liquid part of the mixture, we'll need two tablespoons of grapeseed oil, one tablespoon of witch hazel, and a few drops of pure honey fragrance oil from Brambleberry. And if you don't wanna get this one, I also do like oatmeal, milk, and honey from Nature's Garden and Brambleberry. So I'm just gonna begin with getting all the lumps out of my baking soda, and then I'm gonna mix in all of the other dry ingredients, minus the whole oatmeal. So you can just mix it all together and make sure there's no lumps. You can also use a sifter instead of using your hands, but I don't have one, so I'm going to use my hands. Next you want to pour your liquid mixture into your dry mixture very slowly and I do it while I'm mixing with the whisk. And as you can see I did put the witch hazel and the grapeseed oil in the same container just because it does make it easier to pour without fizzing because the oil won't make it fizz, it's actually the witch hazel, well the water that's in the witch hazel that makes the mixture fizz. And if you pour it too quickly it can ruin your bath bombs. Next, I added a few drops of fragrance oil. Now you'll want to mix it all together very well and then you'll get to a texture where you can grab it and squeeze it and it won't break apart easily. And if you do find that your mixture breaks apart very easily, it's a little too dry, then you'll need to add a little bit more oil or witch hazel, just a tad bit more. Or you can just try putting it in the bath bomb mold and seeing if it holds together. And there are a few molds you can get. This one is like a Christmas ornament one that you can get from Michaels or from Amazon. This one is probably the most popular that people use. So you'll just push the mixture down in there on both sides and then mash it together. But I'm actually gonna use this one that I got from Etsy. It's my favorite bath bomb and it's not too expensive. So you'll just put the powder in and then put the top on. You'll see. <laughs> So first I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the oatmeal at the bottom of the mold and then put some of my mixture in there and press it down just so I can get it as snug as possible. There's pieces that are always going to fall off. I haven't perfected that part yet, but this is the best way I've found to keep at least a majority of the oats on top. And of course you don't have to put the oatmeal on top, but it does add a little razzle dazzle to your bath bomb.
With this mold, I was able to make five bath bombs, and if I would have used the smaller, more popular mold, with that size, I would have made six. And next, I'm just gonna let them sit for 48 hours. In my opinion, the best way to package bath bombs for them to last the longest is shrink wrapping them. And in order to shrink wrap them, I did use a heat gun and a heat sealer. And this is the final product. It's ready to give away or sell. Thanks for watching.